Hey gaming fans, so today's another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile, and this one's also for GOAT format, and it's Chorus, the Black Flamed Dragon, uh, level 4, 6, and 8. Um, so, I was trying to think of a good way to do this deck. Uh, I know there's multiple ways you can do it. Um, I first was going to use um, the Fusion King Dragon. Uh, he's really good, but uh, I decided to take a different route. I wanted to go a little bit more on the fire side of things and, and the recruiter side. So let's get to the deck profile. So we uh, start with um, obviously three of the Bla uh, Horus Black Dragon level four. Um, this is a pretty solid monster. I like that, you know, he's 16. It obviously would have been better if he was 18, but I think that would have made him a little bit too more too powerful. But um, he can't uh, change control, which is cool. Your opponent can't snatch steal him, brain control him, uh, creature swap him. So uh, you can get him on the field. Uh, 16 is fairly good. I mean, it, it's going to run over most monsters your opponent's going to set. Uh, it can run over all your opponent's recruiters. So, you know, it's still a fairly good monster. Uh, then I'm going to play, I'm going to max out on the level 6 because this deck's going to really try and get the Horus level 8 out. So I put three of the level six in there. Still a good monster. It's 23 attack. Uh, so it uh, match, it rivals with um, the Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, unfortunately, it can't run over a Monarch. But as long as this card remains face up in the field, it's unaffected by spell cards. So kind of the same idea. It just, uh, they can't do anything with spell cards to affect it. Uh, you have to remember that you also can't do anything to it either. So you can't book a Moonum yourself, uh, which is too bad, but that's okay. Uh, and all of these obviously are leveled up monsters, so uh, when level 4 destroys a monster by battle, uh, at the end phase you get the special summon level 6 from your hand or deck. And then with 6, uh, same thing, if you destroy a monster by battle, you get to level up to uh, level 8, which I'm playing 2 of, just to make sure I could always pull one out. I know it's bricky sometimes, um, you, you just gotta play around it, maybe use it if you draw it in your hand, you don't need it, you can use it to discard with uh, certain cards, but, or if your opponent del delinquent duels you, and you got one in your hand, just pitch it. Uh, so, uh, I just want to make sure that I could always pull this out. And so it's the level 8, and this one just negates spell cards right out. Um, your opponent can't play any spell cards, essentially. Now, I know another build for this deck is to uh, try and go for the lockdown, uh, where you play three Royal Decrees, or you play Jinzo, uh, but I decided I don't want to do that build. Um, I want to use traps in this deck. So, moving on with the rest of the monsters. I'm going to go with three UFO Turtle. Um, unfortunately, it cannot pull out your um, your level 4. Because uh, he's 1600 attack. But that's okay. That's not why he's in here. He's in here just as a floater to make sure you always have a monster on the field. And, you know, if you need to tribute summon for your level 6. Uh, so, really good. Um, another a target for your uh, UFO turtle is three mass dragons. So I'm really going the recruiter route on this one. Uh, these guys search out any dragon, so they could search out a copy of themselves or any dragon of 1500 or less. Uh, so you'd probably use your UFO turtle to go into one of these guys. Uh, same kind of stats, 1400 attack. And then this guy, if he gets destroyed, uh, you can pull out your twin-headed behemoth. That way, you kind of make sure you'll have a, a monster on the field if you need to tribute summon or creature swap or whatever you want to do with it. And because we're playing all fire monsters, or mostly fire monsters except for the behemoth, um, you're a spirit of the flames. Uh, this is just to give you an extra special summon um, in, uh, by removing a fire monster from your graveyard. Then you increase the attack of this monster by 300 points during your battle phase, which is pretty good. He goes up to 2,000. Uh, so, you know, pretty still solid stats, can run over a lot of monsters. And again, we're playing the uh, Recruiter build, so I put two creature swaps in there, so you can swap over your Mass Dragon or your UFO Turtle, um, if they pull out a Chaos Monster or something bigger, um, or if they just set something and you just want to steal it. To help us with our uh, leveling up, we're going to play Level Up. Uh, you, uh, you can send one face-up level monster you control to the graveyard to special summon one monster from your deck that is listed on the, the card. So, um, I'm not actually sure how this interacts with level 6, though, because he's unaffected by spells. But I, don't, I, don't, I think sending is a cost, so that's, a, that's something I definitely need to look up. If you know the ruling on that, let me know 
in the comments below, but I, I believe it works. Um, because we're playing a lot of dragons, stamping destruction. So if you control a dragon type monster, you can special, you can destroy one spell or trap on the field and then do 500 damage to your opponent. I just put one in here because we are playing quite a few dragons and uh, it just always helps to have an extra MST. Uh, speaking of MST, we got that there and heavy storm, all stuff to just deal with the back row. I did put in two book of moon, um, again, you know, just for some defense or uh, if you need to turn your, your opponent's monster face down to run it over with one of your monsters. Uh, like if you need to run over something big, uh, you can turn it to defense mode and just run it over and then level up your, your level six to level eight. And then we got Nobleman of Crossout. Uh, we are playing two books, so why not play a Nobleman? And possibly when your opponent sees you've pulled out a big monster, um, like Horus, level eight, they might try to go into defense mode and then you can just get rid of it. I was trying to think of uh, a card to pull out to put in a second Nobleman, but um, I mean, if, if you can th think of one, let me know. And then, you know, some popular choices, uh, Pot of Greed, Graceful, um, Premature Burial, not playing duo, Delinquent Duo in this build, but like I always say, if you want to play that in every single deck you run, that's perfectly fine. Just take out a card or two. Uh, brain Control to help, uh, again, with the summoning of Horus. Um, also, you know, stealing your opponent's Chaos Monsters never hurts. And the same thing with Snatch Deal. So like I said, I'm, I'm not playing the ro <clears throat> excuse me, Royal Decree in this build. Uh, but I am playing, you know, a lot of traps. So we have, call it a Haunted, Mirror Force, and Ring. Uh, just really good cards to play. Um, you know, Call of the Haunted is good to bring back your Horus uh, level 6 or whatever to help level them up. Um, Ring is always a good card. Mirror Force in case your opponent's uh, beating you down. And then I put in two Divine Wrath because I figure um, monster effects are going to be a problem. Uh, if you're Again, if your opponent is playing Chaos or if they play a monster that destroys a monster when it's flipped face up like Night Assailant. Uh, you can have Divine Wrath ready. So once you get your Horus level 8 out on the field, uh, you know you're now protected by any monster effects that might destroy your Horus. And then in the same vein, we're going to play three Solemn Judgments. Same idea, just to stop any cards that's going to prevent your Horus. So instead of going into the direction of trying to lock out all traps, this will actually save you from a, a variety of cards that might destroy your Horus. So, you know, a single Exile Force can ruin your day. So that's the, the deck so far. Um, like I said, I didn't want to go in this direction, but you can definitely do a build, build a deck that will pull him out, like Fuselier Dragon uh, into Metamorphosis. But I wanted to go pure fire build on this one. Another card I was hoping to, to you know, squeeze in here would be the, uh, the Field Spell, which increases all fires by um, 500. I think it's Molten and Lava or Destruction or something like that. Uh, but again, just trying to find room for it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.